Today is my birthday today, and I hope everybody's excited. Not because it's my birthday, but because of what we're going to be making today. I'm going to go have some fun. I'm going to go hang out with my boys. And I'm going to cook some great food today. So fasten your seatbelts, sit back and relax, or actually get up on the stove and you can participate along. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to watch me cook. Let's cook. All right, guys, it's 7.30 a.m. I'm getting ready to go cook, and it's time to pack my gear. Let's see what I'm going to take along to go cook for my birthday. All right, guys. First off, tablet. I'm going to secure that. We're doing a show here. we got to secure that stuff. Next thing. Microphone and tripod. Birthday present from my wife. My new favorite tool. Tripod for the tablet. And last but certainly not least, my knees roll. This is what I carry with me. Chef on the go. I got a few good knives in here, and uh, this really helps. Gloves. We are dealing with COVID-19, and I got to follow regulations. And my first priority is I'm going to keep my friends safe. I'm also bringing a cutting board and a plastic hotel pen so I can mix all my stuff together. I don't want to big, bring a big stainless steel bowl because that's just going to take up a lot of space. And I just want to make sure I have something to cut on to make sure everything is safe. And as always, guys, I always bring lots of towels. All right, guys, so I'm here outside. I'm waiting for my buddy Bob Belay to come and pick me up. And we are going to go have some fun and go cook some food. On the menu today is burgers, hot dogs, the usual fixings. But I'm going to fix up the burgers a little extra special. I'm going to make a bacon blue cheese relish that's going to go on the burgers. And it's going to taste phenomenal. All right, guys, so we are on the road. We're going to John First House. My buddy Bob Belay came and picked me up today. Say hi to the people, Bob. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, Bob is my financial, he's been my friend for many, many years now. We go to the same church. He's also my financial advisor uh, at Primerica. Because of Bob, I have, we have, my wife and I have three retirement funds and I got a little baby grandniece at home who's going good to go to college because of Bob. Yeah, it's so it's all good stuff. take a walk so here's my grill right here this is where we're going to be cooking I'm getting my pan nice and hot right here we're going to move around John you're on video why don't you go oh you're not on video here you go okay 
Good morning. There you are. Yeah. This is John's house. He's uh, opening up to us for the weekend to have this men's group. So, John, thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right. Okay, guys, so we're here at this beautiful location. We got burgers and dogs on the menus. Um, again, I'm gonna make that beautiful blue cheese bacon relish with bread onions, chopped parsley, black pepper, a little bit of olive oil. But first things first, let's get our mise. As you can see, guys, I overpacked the essentials. I got my mise roll here ready to go. Cutting board, container for the relish and gloves. I'm ready to go. Got my spatula here for the burgers. And of course, you guys, I got my hat, I got my mask, and I'm ready to get this done. Let's do it. For this particular dish, I'm going to be using a couple knives today. I'm going to use a zir knife, which originated from Turkey, which I picked up from uh, Bernal Cutlery. And I'm going to use my CCK duck slicer, which is good for slicing up proteins and it's good for slicing up stuff. Like I'm going to slice up the bacon today for the bacon relish. Always important to have good tools. Okay, guys, so I'm in full COVID gear right now. I'm getting ready to prep, and so let's go to our mies. All right, so we are cutting the tomatoes and the lettuce. I got my beautiful slicer here. This is what this is there for. Usually it's supposed to slice duck, but it slices tomatoes pretty well, too. I almost got myself. It's all right. No worries. Okay, these tomatoes feel like they've already been washed. I'm not worried about them. All right, let's do this. Okay, tomato scraps we're gonna leave on the side. Slice tomatoes, done. Let's go to the lettuce. Take the core out. Take the core out, and then we just separate the leaves. Pretty simple stuff. All right. Okay, guys, one of the most important things you do when you're cooking, make sure you clean as you go. Cutting board shaking around, here's what you do. You pick this up, you lay a wet towel down underneath. It creates this immovable surface. There we go. Now my cutting board is stuck. It's not moving. I'm going to cook some parsley.
Parsley goes in. All right, there we go. And we're gonna move the zero knife over here. We're gonna wipe it off. Make sure it stays nice and clean. These are carbon steel, they do rust. Thank you, Bernal Cutlery. So, I'm gonna slice through there. Nicely done. We're probably gonna use about half an onion, guys, because that's all we need. All right, let's peel this off right here. As you can see, guys, I got my mask on, I got my gloves on. I'm a chef first. I'm gonna keep my buddies safe, so they're important to me. Important part of my life. All right, we're gonna take it like this. Slice it through nicely, just like my other CCK cleaver. Why do we cut, why is this done nicely? Because we keep our knife sharp. When our knife is sharp, we have more control. Thank you, Bernal Cutlery, for, for providing such fine sharpening stones. Take it like that, and I'm gonna bring it downtown. So, when it gets like that, we take it on its side. Go like that. We'll bring it through a little bit. course, I hate the waste, guys. You know that. I'm going to take all this onion here. Let's just rough chop it through just one time. Gonna hit it with some olive oil just to bring it together. And then also I have garlic. But first off, let's clean off our board, shall we? We're getting messy. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. That's right. Okay. Let's throw that in there. Let's crush some garlic. Now remember guys, how do we crush garlic? Like this. Take a towel underneath it. Like that. Boom, done. We'll put about four cloves of garlic in there. Everybody likes garlic. So once again, gonna wipe off, gonna use the zero knife. Gonna take this right here, smash it down. Smash it down. Smash it down. Smash it down. Everybody thinks I'm crazy because I'm cooking in front of a camera, but you know what? It's my birthday. I don't care. And this is fun stuff. Let's do this. Right here, guess what guys, we're gonna take this garlic, I'm just gonna mince it up. Guys, garlic's chopped. I'm gonna keep it rough because I want people to bite into that garlic. It's a burger. It's gotta be rough. It's gotta be rustic. Come on. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna melt some. I'm gonna mix some olive oil into this. Let's pop this open. Perfect. I'm gonna throw some olive oil in there just to bring it all together. 
Of course, we're going to add some bacon and some bacon fat into there later. And then my favorite thing. Now, I don't want this blue cheese relish to sit out in the hot sun while I'm cooking the bacon. So guess what? I'm going to put it here in the fridge. It's in there. It's ready to go. And I know it's going to be safe. All right. Relish is in the fridge. Now it's time to go cook some bacon. Let's go back to the grill. All right, guys. Time to make some bacon. And we lost one on the grill. So here's a close-up shot of this bacon sizzling, guys. See the fat's rendering off. It's going to crisp up. It's going to get nice and caramelized. We're going to add that to our relish. And we're going to make it taste really, really good. Watch that bacon sizzle. All right, guys. Bacon is getting there. It's getting rendered off. Just a couple more minutes. We'll get it nice and crispy. Then we'll mix it with the relish, and we'll set it back in the fridge. We'll let it chill out, and then we're going to have some good toppings for our relish. Okay, guys. Guess what? Bacon's all crispy. Got our blue cheese relish here. I'm going to take this crispy bacon and use my slotted spoon. I'm just going to pour it right in there. Take this right here, we're gonna to toss it around. Bacon blue cheese relish for our burgers today. So guess what? Bon appetit, guys. It's gonna be good. Looks like we got a crowd showing up. Everybody's here, it's men's group today. Everybody wants to shoot some guns and uh, looks like everybody's gonna have a good time. It wouldn't be a men's group without some inspirational words from Pastor Mike Tadlock. God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And as I was thinking about a target like this, there's constant adjustments in our life. There's constant things that we have to refocus. Uh, maybe COVID got you spinning out of control because you feel restricted and it's got you a little bit off target. There's so many things in our life daily, emotionally, that can get us off of the goals that God has set in our life. And what we have to do is we have to make a sight adjustment. I love what the Apostle Paul says, I stopped looking backwards. I hope no one's going to try the mirror trick today to shoot over their shoulders. <laughs> no, we'll be doing that. So, John already said we're not going to do that. But, but how many of us live our life that way? We're trying to shoot things in our past. I met Mike Tad like 12 years ago in 2008. And... My wife and I were going through a really rough time. We were transitioning from one place to the next and we met and we talked. It was 12 years ago this month that we met and uh, Mike and his wife Renee, they became our pastors and they became our very good friends. And uh, we're very grateful to them because uh, if it wasn't for them, I don't know if me and my wife would be together right now. Um, they helped save our marriage and uh, They've become a very, very important part of our lives. ...with your life. And that he is, he, if he, if there's a course correction that you need today, that he's available to do that for you. And I know through COVID and through pastoring through this and being online and all the things that we've had to do as a church and leadership, that um, there's been some course of corrections that the Holy Spirit has had to do in my life because I was getting off target a little bit. But God has designed us and he's created us to hit bullseye every single time. And if we will, if we will not try to be the shooter, we'll just try to be the vessel yep. and allow him to put his ammo inside of us. We'll be dead aimed every time and we'll see God use us for incredible things. So that's what I want to share with you today. And as you're shooting, I hope the Lord will just speak to you. Um, through this, it won't just be a firing off ammo event. Like that was really cool, but what are the areas of your heart? Here's the question. What are the areas of your life right now that God wants to get on target? Maybe you've been stuck in some stuff. 
And today, God wants to just deal with you. So, um, I'm not, usually I'll have the guys put hands on each other. We're not going to do that because of, because you're not supposed to touch. But I just want you to raise your hands towards the person to your right and to your left. And themselves. That's right. Very, very cool. Thanks. This is a great event. Thank you, Real Life Church. Thank you. So my wife always tells me she can trick me anytime she wants on her birthday. And you know what? I just found out that she's not kidding. Okay, honey, you're the best. You are the bomb. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Twenty! <laughs> It's the 27th anniversary of my 20th birthday. Before we get started, let's sing happy birthday to Tom. He's going to be cooking for us today on his birthday. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, the best birthday present I could do, I could give to myself is to serve you guys. So you know what? It's all good. Let's sing happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> German chocolate, you've been talking to my wife. Yes, we did. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I'm going to start making. All right, guys. Let's grill. you guys Every, people have been fed everybody's having a great time my wife surprised me for my birthday and this has just been a really really great day i didn't shoot anything today but that's all right i'm not big 
on guns. I'm more of a knife guy, as you guys already know. So guys, I wanna, I'm gonna dig into this beautiful burger here, and all I've gotta say for this day is, happy birthday to me, and order up. Hey everybody, it's Chef Tom. I want to thank you all for watching me cook on my birthday today. And remember, what you do in life matters. Who you are is important. And don't let anybody else tell you that you can't do something or be something that you want to be. Remember me? I was the 11 year old kid diagnosed with autism. They told me I'd be the best grocery bagger ever. Obviously, as you can see now, that's not the case. And I want you to feel that way too. Remember, when somebody gets you down, I want you to look them in the face and say, watch me. If they say you can't do something, look them in the face and say, watch me. Watch me grow. Watch me excel. Watch me prove you wrong. I thank you for watching me cook today. And so go cook. Get out of here. See you next time. Watching from a safe distance, There's people shooting down there, having a good time. So it's all good. While they're shooting here, I'm shooting up here. I'm shooting definitely some nice food. So uh, everybody's having a good time. Everybody's enjoying the food, and uh, this is exactly what I wanted for my birthday. So cool.